You can call it a court Zoom instead of a court room. Remote hearings are becoming the way of the future for many here in Lancaster County. What started as an option to keep people safe from COVID-19 has now become a way to make court more accessible. 1011 Now, Samantha Burnt is live in our newsroom tonight with what she's hearing. Sam? Cole, Kelsey, virtual court hearings have become more of a norm. These days, they're used more for efficiency, for judges and everyone else involved, rather than helping to prevent the spread of COVID. At the height of the pandemic, it wasn't unusual for courtrooms to be empty and Zoom meeting rooms to be full. It is easier to just log on. I mean, almost everyone has a phone and can access the Zoom. And that's still the case today to some degree. It just seems like we hardly ever do a plea hearing in the courtroom anymore. Here in Lancaster County, we've seen high profile defendants appear in court virtually. It's an option in both county and district court for cases regarding civil and criminal matters and even family law. The judge, the lawyers and the people they represent can all be a part of a court hearing on Zoom from their office or anywhere. Being in the courtroom in person is no longer always the case. Say a stay at home mom and you don't have daycare for your kids or don't have anybody that can take care of your kids. You can zoom in for court that way. People don't want to take off work for a half an hour, half an hour hearing. District Court Judge Susan Strong says she's seen many benefits of virtual court, including more people making their court dates and eliminating security risks of bringing people from a jail cell to a courtroom. We're not doing Zoom hearings because of COVID. We're doing them because of efficiency. It's been more beneficial than detrimental. There are some instances where Zoom hearings aren't allowed, like jury trials. But Lancaster County Public Defender Christy Ager hopes in the scenarios where it is allowed, that it stays that way for the long haul. And we have another option, which is so easy to use and so handy. I think we ought to make that available and accessible to people. Although it may not be the case with every judge, Judge Strong says she plans to keep Zoom as an option for the hearing she presides over long term. Reporting live in the newsroom, Samantha Burnt, 1011 Now. All right, Sam, thank you.